Oh, you can do it yourself? Thank you. You're welcome. Don't scratch it now. Is it gonna fit? Uh oh. Good morning, everyone. Just woke up, got ready. Christina's getting ready right now. I think she's actually pumping for some milk, but we gotta take Christina to the doctors. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we gotta take Leia to the doctors because we need to check to see if she's been gaining more weight since last time the doctor said she's losing weight, not drinking enough milk. Give her extra bottles. If you can see right here, I used to have my ears pierced back in the days and I haven't worn them for at least six years. So I wanna see if these holes are still open and if they still exist. I don't know why, I just had a random moment that I wanted to try out. Ouch, ouch. Feels like it's still open and I don't even have to poke a hole through my ear to open it back up. Bring it back to 1990s, or actually the early 2000s. Let's test it out for today. These guys are gigantic. Let's see what the wife thinks about them. Christina, are you done pumping? Yeah. Can I bring the camera out? Yeah. Your boobie's not hanging out? No. Nope. Okay. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Can you see what I did today? You put on your earrings. <laughs> the ones that I got you. How do they look? Good. I'm not used to you wearing earrings anymore, even though when I first met you, you used to wear it all the time. I wanted to see if the hole was still open, just because I was like, oh, I kind of missed them. So I tried it on right now, and I didn't have to break any skin. I don't know if ear piercings are ever closed because... I've done that before, though. I've had to break through the skin. I feel like it always stays there, but then it will never fully close. But this time, it was fully open. I didn't oh. have to do anything. Are we ready to wake Leia up? Yeah, I'm pretty much done, and then I'm going to get dressed, and then you can get her ready in the carriage and we're pretty much good to go and then we get to be in traffic for like an hour. Yay. Yay! The things we do to bring Leia to an awesome doctor. We gotta wait an hour in traffic. There are doctors near our house but they won't be nearly as good. We want Leia to love her doctor as she gets older and as she grows and we love our doctor so I think we're making a great choice. It's just some sacrifice that we have to do on our end. Yeah, it's worth it though. Yeah. Anything for Leia. I hear her in the background so I'm gonna go check on her right now. Good morning. Morning, baby. Are you ready to see the doctor? This is Leia trying to wake up every day and she gets in this mode of trying to fight it. I'll say she's almost three months old. She's still about two and a half. I kind of keep track of the weeks. I know everyone usually keeps tracks of the baby's weeks like they're 15 weeks, 20 weeks old. I mean, I don't know, man. She's two and a half months old. Oh, she's been putting her hands near her face all the time. She rubs her eyes when she's tired. But the funny thing is because she just discovered her mouth, she's been putting her hands in her mouth and just sucking on it and biting on it. And it's just so weird. She hasn't started drooling yet, which is a good thing. Hi, nice to see you. You like waking up to see daddy? Oh yeah, yeah. I love her little legs. Oh, you trying to fight me? Yeah, you can't fight daddy. Cause you know, it's Kung Fu fighting. Oh. Okay, I'll change your diaper, okay? Before we go change your diaper, baby, let's go say hi to mommy. Good morning! Hi, baby! Oh, morning. she automatically smiled oh, right now. Love you! Hey, you don't need a diaper change. Look at this. It's yellow. Stop kicking your feet. Show everybody that it's yellow. It's all yellow right there. Why are you being so fussy this morning? You're hungry, I know. Okay, okay. The struggles of getting a baby up in the morning and out. This is what I'm gonna have to deal with when I start going to work. All right, so I got her bottle warming up right now. One of the things that we noticed is that baby has been drinking very, very slowly. And someone told us, well, maybe we need medium sized flow nipples. Mm -hmm. Right now, she's hungry. It's gonna take her forever. So we're gonna do some MacGyver right now. <laughs> We're just gonna make the hole a little bit bigger. Not enough to like break it where it would be a safety hazard for her, but we're just making it a little bit bigger. Cool. We just wanna make sure that she's not hungry. We finally made it to Pasadena. Yeah. And it took us almost an hour to get here. And I'm pretty sure it's less than 20 miles away from our house. We're almost 20 minutes late for our doctor's appointment and they only have a 10 minute grace period. So I hope they still let Leia in and check her weight. Oh, yes. good morning. You ready to get your temperature oh, checked? Guys. Yeah, we're at the doctor's office. Oh, go back to sleep. <laughs> good night. <laughs> 
It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's just That's a temperature check. Yeah. That's it. Oh, baby. Oh, it's okay. She's my pee pee. Sorry. She's, She's so like, my scared. socks, my socks. I'm so sorry. What's she doing to my socks? Look. She doesn't even know what's going on right now. She's like, what is this? Oh. Hey, you came a little bit away, baby. It's a good sign, but I don't know if it's enough. Hi, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Why well, she should be at 11 pounds or what? I don't know yet. <gasps> She's peeing. Oh, does yeah. that add any weight? <laughs> <laughs> She's lost weight for peeing right now. It's okay, baby. Okay. I think she was 9-1 last time. Yeah, oh, she like 9 one, one, nine, two. Hey, baby girl, did you know you peed on the scale? Yeah? Are you cold? You look so warm in that blanket. Yeah? Oh, you look so pretty right now. You do look like you gained some weight. Good job. Yeah? Yay! Alright, so one of the good things is last time we came, she was 9 pounds and I don't know how many ounces. One or two ounces. <laughs> now she's 10 pounds and one ounce, so she gained one full pound, which is pretty good because she's supposed to gain, what, one ounce a day? Was so that like the rule? Six ounces a week. So almost yeah. one ounce a day. And she gained 16 ounces in almost three weeks, which is. Oh, oh, 16 ounces in like 21 days. I don't know if that's good. That's probably not that good. She's still probably a little bit small, but at least we know she is gaining weight and the extra bottles that we're feeding her is working. We just didn't want her to lose weight. Yeah, progress. Good job, baby. <gasps> Who's that? <gasps> oh. Oh. Who's that, baby? Look at her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's too cute. Hi, you're so active. Yeah, wow. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's see, let's get your arm down so I can not have you move so much. It's hard. <laughs> Hi. 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 Oh, hiccups too. She must have got that chatty from you. What do you mean? I don't talk that much. All right, baby, good job. Good job. All right, so some of the things that we found out, she's still not eating enough. She doesn't get one ounce a day. What the doctor recommends is now, let's start putting her on some formula. She's saying to pump less now. So she's saying okay. not to stress too much about it and just pump maybe once or twice a day max because before I was pumping a lot. Because yeah. He's, he <laughs> because he's... Whoa, uh, you okay there? <laughs> well, I'm really glad that she said that because pumping was kind of taking over our lives. I was um, pumping a lot because I'm going back to work. He's going to have to take her to work with yeah. him. So I was trying to make sure he had enough bottles for her. But, but we knew we were going to give her formula at work. So right now we have to already start giving her formula. And I think that's a great idea. So we're going to mix it and see if she can gain more weight. Right now she's drinking about two to two and a half ounces per bottle of breast milk. The doctor wants her to get four ounces. That's almost double. I think one of the issues was we need to buy those medium fast flowing nipples. Yeah. That's what we got from the doctor today. Everything else looks great and yeah, you are such a chatter monster. Yeah. So the doctor hooked us up. She gave us this. She gave us some uh, infant formula, that powder and a bunch of uh, nipples. Let's just get her in the car. Uh, you probably have to breastfeed her in the car yeah. for a bit before yeah. we take off yeah. and have some lunch. Are you hungry? Yes. Are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> we made it for lunch for some dim sum. <coughs> and we got grandma in the house. It's grandma's first time eating with Leia, but Leia's not really eating, she's sleeping. But we're having some dim sum, so it's an Asian cuisine and it's kind of like brunch. It's just like a variety of small dishes that you get and it's all really good. Yummy, yummy, yum. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys some B-roll of it, but we actually already started eating, so it doesn't look that good. Blame. Christina. Yay, it's the first time grandpa and grandma get to see Leia out at a restaurant. How does it feel to have the baby out? It feels good. Time to say bye. Bye. Say bye to grandma. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, grandpa, say bye, Leia. Finally made it home, and someone has not slept all day. I don't know who, but uh. <coughs> hey, you. How come you're not sleeping? Because you slept all day during lunch? Did you have fun with grandma and grandpa? Did you? Did you? She loves this swing right here. She looks at that on top while it spins. I actually wanted to get one of these guys that spin above her crib and her bassinet. So if you guys have something that you recommend, let us know because we've been on the hunt for something. Ain't that right, Leia? Anything to keep you busy. Mommy. Yeah. 
What you doing? So I just sterilized all of her bottles and yeah. nipples and everything and the pumping equipment. Uh -huh. So if you look right there, there's a whole tray of stuff. Whoa. Yeah, that's not even everything. And then now I'm trying to figure out how to store her milk because we're going to transition her from breastfeeding to formula. Or we're yeah. going to try to mix both. So now I need to figure out what we're going to freeze and then what's going to go in the fridge. Well, eventually we're going to stop breastfeeding. Probably, yeah. I would say, in the next month, two, three, four, something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. So you can't breastfeed forever. No. Oh, I know, but I just want to make sure that she has enough for when you take her back to work. Sounds like you're taking it pretty well and you're yeah. not getting any postpartum depression from not breastfeeding like other women do. No, I mean, because I'm still going to be breastfeeding her, but... Well, what's going to happen when this stops? I think I'll be over it by then. Yeah. Because I'm only doing it because it is beneficial for her. And it's also bonding for us, but I think once I go back to work and I only breastfeed her at night, then it's going to be different and I'm just going to get used to it. I think it'll be fine. All I want to do is just hold her anyway. I can just hold her without breastfeeding her i'm more relieved i thought i was gonna be like oh no i don't want to breastfeed her less but i feel better because it was a lot of work and the pumping part i hated the pumping part i'm extremely relieved that we're gonna go to formula i'm happy although it is better for leia to have breast milk up until i don't know how long people even have breast milk for but well, people say like six months oh yeah that's cool yeah, so I, that's i've, I've heard of babies who've had it for like Oh, yeah. two years, two years yeah. i mean you see on the internet there's babies who've been sucking on the mom's boob for like four years yeah, like, you guys are kind of we're not doing that. Yeah, no. Yeah. Formula, hey, it doesn't matter as long as she's getting milk, nutrients, all that protein. That's all we need. What do you think my mom thought when we went to lunch and she saw my earrings again? They're probably like, oh, he's going through a, a another phase, a midlife <laughs> crisis. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to make my ears useful. Hey, baby, where did you go? Someone snatched her. Who snatched the baby? And I think it's you. Yeah, she hasn't slept all day so i want to put her in here to try to get her to sleep before grandma comes over oh, and grandma's no. gonna keep her awake the whole time other grandma and grandpa yes so i'm trying to save her now and yeah. let her sleep hi baby yeah oh. oh you don't know what's coming to you i like it when she's in there it looks so cute i love it when she's here too well so what is it that you're gonna do that you need her on there i'm still doing the bottles and the breast milk and stuff oh, but I, I just wanted to keep her on me so she can sleep because i, I know that my mom's not gonna let her sleep yeah. at all she's gonna want to play yeah. with her all the time you're gonna see grandma grandpa yeah, so you better oh. get to sleep. Oop. Oh, you are tired because yep. you keep moving your head back and forth. Exactly. So I know you're trying to rub your eyes, Yeah. Yep, go to sleep, yeah. okay? I have a question for you. Yes. I was wondering, because she doesn't like her bassinet, and I feel like she'll like her crib a lot more because the mattress is bigger. Should we move the crib into yes. our bedroom? I was just thinking about it last night, and I was going to talk to you about it because I couldn't sleep because I was just thinking about, hmm, she probably will like it in there better. And then at the same time, I still feel like I want to keep her in the room so then we can hear if anything happens and i think if we were to shift our bed and move my dresser out we could put her on that let's, wall let's go take a look okay so our bedroom is pretty small it's not very big i don't know if we can fit the crib in here let me close my closet because it's a mess and i want you guys to see it but it looks like we're gonna have to shift this entire king size bed over to the wall yeah and put the crib over there yeah because we but don't want her there because of the window what if we move the whole bed and we turn it. Okay. And the headboard is on this side of the wall. Okay, so it's like in this corner. And then the crib can be, I don't know, somewhere. Not, yeah, Dang it. not near the windows. These windows are killing us. Yeah, so I feel like this is the only wall that we can put her. Do you think if we do that shifting over with the headboard on this side, yeah. that the crib will fit in the corner? Mm. We gotta measure. We're going to figure out where we can put the crib and how we can maneuver our bed to see what works best. It looks like we're gonna have to sacrifice being next to the window, yeah. but I don't know if that's a good idea because I don't want to get sick. And if I get sick, you get sick. If you get sick, I get sick, then baby gets sick. Yeah. And then everyone at work gets sick. And then everyone at work gets other people sick. Yeah. And then it spreads and the then virus. It comes back. No, don't want that. Yeah. So let's figure this out and hopefully we can move the crib into the room tonight i'm really glad that we're on the same page because i was thinking about it yesterday and I was yeah like, i thought about it yesterday too yeah when we we're in bed and i was just staring at the bassinet i was just like oh how can we do this yeah. and i was just like oh we'll talk i just about it. i just don't like the bassinet i thought the bassinet was going to be smaller yeah. to where the baby is snug in there and can't move that is a very big space for the baby and she's just like right here that's her head right there it's not very comfortable 
It's nice and hard, which is recommended by the doctors. I think she'll like it more because she can actually see us. Yeah, I think so, so too. She's sleeping already. I, I told you, she hey, was exhausted. Hi. Good night. Good night. Just like that, and she went to sleep. Yep. Who oh, is outside stealing our avocados? <laughs> Who is that? Why is there a crazy lady stealing our avocados outside? Why didn't you tell me that your mom was here stealing avocados? I thought you would have heard her. She's pretty loud. Yeah. Can't believe you let some crazy lady just wander and steal our boxes and avocados. She would have done it anyway, even if we weren't home. Jeez. Leia, that's your grandma. Your grandma is stealing our avocados. You need to protect our fortress. And actually, she's the one who bought us the fruit picker stick. Uh, so okay, fine, fine. It. How many did you steal? I don't know. I'm not steal. <laughs> I just picked it. <laughs> All right, so for some odd reason, while I was holding it, it got really, really hot. And the reason is because somebody peed all over me. It's from here to here, the wet spot. Can you, you see, see that? It on your shirt. Yeah, yep. and it's on my jeans. Hey, thanks, Leia, for peeing on me. I have no idea why I went through your diaper or how that even happened. So because of that, we can't set up the crib yet. We got to give her a bath. What did you want to do with her cradle cap thing? I wanted to put baby oil on her head. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's super scaly. It's all over e her head. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, it wasn't like this the last time we did it. So that's Yikes. why we just got to keep doing it. Because she has so much hair you can't really see it but it just looks like it's in the front all right just get that baby oil in there it just looks like white scales and like patches of dry skin yeah and i don't know if it's itchy for her so we just gotta try to get it okay Leia. it's okay we're gonna give you a bath okay leah i know you can do it just poop in your bath and poop on mommy okay you pee on me and you poop on mommy nah i don't think she wants to bathe in her own poop she's having so much fun now that she's like splashing water around. yeah she's like trying to kick around in there we're just gonna Get comb it. oh you see all of that no. it's whatever is like white right there i don't know if you can see it on camera but yeah. you can definitely all i see is soap it might look like soap but it's actually her skin so this is our second time as you see from the last video we're doing it again because it takes multiple times good job mommy Thank you. She looks like she's enjoying it, huh, baby? Yeah, she does. Okay. She loves baths now. I know. We use this Burt Bees, and we actually got this from one of our fans. So thank you very much, whoever got this for us. We do use everyone's things, and we do eat all your stuff. So thank you again. And it's called Burt's Bees Babies Nourishing Baby Oil. All right, so after she gets this bath, dry her up, and then uh, we'll put her to sleep early so we can start working on that crib moving. Well, so now that she's sleeping, we yeah. do have time. Can you grab, let's see, this guy over here. All right. And measure the length of that crib. Okay, so we need about 55 inches. Okay. Which shouldn't be a problem because it'll probably be shorter than the length of our bed. The size of this part. So let's see. Check it out. Yeah, you know. what is it? It is 30, 30 inches. Okay. 30 inches. So let's go in the bedroom. Okay. Okay, right now, what is this gap that's right here? This gap is 30 inches. And what do we need? 30 inches. So I was going to say that the bed doesn't have to be next to the window, so then you're not going to be freezing at night. So this is what we can do right now. Let's move this bed over just a tad, and then we'll fit the crib in there. Oh, you can do it yourself? Thank you. You're welcome. Don't scratch it now. Is it going to fit? Uh oh. It oh, doesn't no. fit. Ah! I thought this was gonna be so much easier. No! Hey, we did it. We took this mother thing apart. We never put it together. And here we are disassembling it just to assemble it back into our room. Sometimes you just gotta do it. And I hope now it fits through the door, but we'll just have to see. Uh, oh, oh. It's... So it would fit and that was off, yeah, right? Yeah, this is off. Damn it! Yes, it all looks pretty good. I thought it was gonna be tighter, but it's actually a good amount of space right here. You even have space to walk in there. And I thought I was gonna have to take this away, but... Nope, look it looks good. Okay. And you can open your drawers. Oh, and you can stand in there. <laughs> pretty cool. Awesome. I think this is awesome. This is a great idea. How do you feel having the baby in here now? Now, like knowing that she's gonna be here, for her first year, I'm not as worried because that was something that was in the, always in the back of my mind because 
We were always like, oh, what are we gonna do? If something happens and we can't hear her, we're not gonna have the cameras on all the time. I don't think I want her in here for the entire year. Yeah, I think we'll play it by ear, and if she does well, then we can move her back out. Yay! <laughs> okay. okay, so on to the next video, guys. We'll see how Leia loves it in this room and how we loved it, but we won't know until it happens later tonight. So you'll catch that on the next video. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't miss out on Mondays and Thursdays, 3 o'clock p.m. Until you see the next video, bye-bye. Say bye. Bye.